Now, what would you do if you dropped your phone or another electronic device in water? Would you place it in dry rice? Well, you know I would. <laughs> well, it turns out it's not the best solution to a wet smartphone. Well, joining us on the line is Ritesh Chug, Senior Lecturer, Information Systems and Analysis at Central Queensland University, Australia. Ritesh, welcome back to Joy Drive. Thank you for having me, Warren. Ritesh, uh, we'll get uh, to what you do if we spill liquid on our phones shortly. Firstly, what is the impact of liquid getting into a smartphone? Does it completely stuff it up for good? Absolutely. Uh, see, uh, we usually talk liquid, but sometimes it could just be a small amount of moisture that somehow gets into your phone. So as a result, uh, moisture trapping into your camera lens can, can cause bloody photos. Um, it could uh, also have an impact on the audio quality. Uh, you might uh, you might see liquid droplets uh, under the screen and often the inability to charge your phone at all. So uh, in extreme circumstances, it could just render your phone unusable totally. Why, why, why Ritesh, do we not yet have fully waterproof phones? Like, surely we've got the technology. We, uh, see, this is the, um, it's actually a marketing gimmick. Uh, oh. New phones, new phones are advertised as water resistant, but ha- this doesn't imply that they're waterproof. Uh, they have a rating, don't they? Is there a rating that tells yeah, us how water absolutely. resistant? Absolutely. Yep. Yes, Warren, that's right. Uh, most new phones have a rating of IP68. So I think for your listeners, it's important I, I, I outline what IP68 actually means. So IP stands for ingress protection. Six which is the first number, usually refers to uh, protection against solids, such as dust. Chocolate. While the second number... (laughs) (laughs) Chocolate powder, perhaps. Mm. Um, While the second number, which is 8 in IP68, refers to resistance to liquids, specifically water. Now, this is something we all need to be aware of. All the testing is done under water not other liquids. Ah, oh, so if we spill so coffee you, on it or drop it into a bucket, bucket of paint yep. or something. Yes, that's right. So if you've spilled coffee, water, uh, sorry, coffee or beer in a pub, mm. well, then that doesn't mean the same protection level will apply. So the higher the number, the eight means it's more, more there's more protection against water, um, but it's not against other liquids is what you're saying. Yes, that's so, right. So six actually, uh, Warren, is the highest solid protection. Right, okay. Six. And eight? Whereas uh, eight, uh, so nine is the highest for water. Okay, so if I do uh, spill beer on my phone and I take it into, um, in my case, you know, whichever one, Apple or Samsung, and Mm -hmm. uh, I take it in and I say to them, hey, look, no, it's just stopped working. I don't know what's happened. They can tell, can't they? Is there some sort of little strip or something in the SIM card that tells them that, yes, Warren spilled liquid on this phone? Yes, Warren. Yep, that, that, that's right. And most people aren't aware of this, this trip. It's hidden away inside the SIM card tray. So whether you have an Apple phone or a Samsung phone, um, it's the, the strip's actually called, um, Apple calls it a liquid contact indicator, whereas uh, Samsung calls it a liquid damage indicator. It's, got, it's basically it's a, lie, a lie detector. <laughs> a lie detector. Because, uh, I, I don't know, Ritesh, everybody who has taken their phone to a repairer and tried to claim warranty on it is now at home going, yeah, don't even try it. They know when you've immersed your phone Absolutely. in water. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, um, so the big question, Ritesh, that we do want to know is, yes. what do we do if we do drop our phone into the bath, for example? What is the best thing to do? Because Dee did it last year and w- yep. you put Dry your rice, phone in rice, Straight into it. And I was like, I was trying to Google, will, will, is Basmati going to be okay? <laughs> 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 so, and it was. Uh, Dee, Dee, you, you were lucky. Hmm. Well, rice, rice has helped. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say uh, rice has helped, but I can't comment on the the environmental conditions at the time. Mm. I mean, the common advice and practice of of of, um, of using uncooked white rice could actually reduce the recovery rate. Oh, so 
So my suggestion oh. is to not use rice, and in fact, you know, sometimes people are, are, are naive enough to to put their phone inside a, a container full of rice, and the the rice actually clogs their ports, the charging ports. Oh yeah, so um, that 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 creates a bigger problem. Does it turn into risotto? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did have the good sense to put it in head first so that I didn't shove rice yep. up into no, no, the. No, that, no, that, that's why I said you you were lucky. Yeah. And probably a, a small segment of people who had luck with rice. What should we and do, Ritesh? Having Ritesh? said that, um, there, there's a few steps. Um, turn the device off immediately. Oh. Wipe wipe the phone dry with with a soft cloth. Gently shake the device to remove water. A lot of us, you know, when when the water falls on the phone, we vigorously start shaking the device. Don't do that because it could actually penetrate other parts. So turn Remove off the, the SIM card. Turn off the phone. Wipe it yep. is what you're saying. Shake out, yep. like not vigorously, any uh, loose water. Yes. Remove, Remove the, SIM, the card. SIM card. Yep. And dry out the phone in front of a fan. And then in an airtight container full of silica gel packets. So silica oh. gel is those small white packets that you get uh, when you buy a new pair of shoes or bags or... Oh, know, the, the so we should all be saving those packets. now. We should be saving them. I I have been saving them for a long time, Dean. and I'd recommend your your listeners do that as well. What a great now, idea. I just, put them, I just put them away in a container. And, you know, the, the, I mean, the, the, the silica gel packets have other uses as well. Are they single use only? So once you've done that, do you have to spend the next 12 years saving them up again? No, uh, well, actually some silica gel packets, you can actually see the colour changing from outside. Mm. And so they go hard change too. change from a light blue colour, yep, to a pink colour, that means they're not usable. I've done this and three. So, I've done it three times, Ritesh. The yes. once was I, I fell into the sea with the phone in my pocket, uh, uh-huh. and that that was dead. I tried the rice trick when I got back to land, uh, yep. but the one the time that I dropped it into the bath, it was fully immersed. I jumped out, ran naked through the house, scared everybody, screaming, "Get me the basmati!" They all thought I'd gone completely <laughs> yep. off my tree. I shoved it in there and left the phone on, and it was fine by morning. <laughs> Nobody, yep. else, nobody else was fine, but the phone recovered. But see, D, that's the IP68 protection that the phone, the companies offer. Yeah. Because it was so water. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, the, 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 the liquid or water hasn't penetrated deep enough to cause major damage. No, right, I'm convinced. I'm going to start saving my silica packs. Silly, you can buy them too if you can't save them. So great yes, advi- you can, yes. Great advice, Ritesh. <laughs> it's really good to chat with you again. We'll chat to you next time. Thank you for having me. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you, Ritesh Chug, Senior Lecturer, Information Systems and Analysis at Central Queensland.